Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. We are at the Slumber Mill Motel. I love it, the Slumber Mill. Um, it, it looks like a lumberjack uh, and everything. I did do a little vatsing down there, and there's some more of those lost individuals from Vault 63. And they have some interesting dialogue, so I'm just going to let it play a little bit here. Okay, so nothing here at the Red Rocket. Let's cross the road and check out the motel. That's what all the explosions were. Interesting, here on the, on the container, save us. That must be, well, obviously it's something to do with these uh, dwellers and heavy engineers and everything from Vault 63, which I have still not visited yet. Saw something over here, and it's a raider corpse. Okay, we can head on over to the motel itself. That protectron there might be a vendor. That would be good. Unidentified. Do not. Okay, so not a vendor. 
I'll just take a look for the usual things. Okay, let's have a look. Logbook. The 1st of October, all the way to the 22nd, some data lost. Bombs dropped on October 23rd, so don't think there's anything different here. Don't recognize any names. Complaints. Number 372. Gunfire. Park ranges on the way. Of course, data loss. Just checking. Complaint 369. Um, looking for compensation. A wild bird entered our room via a poorly fitted ventilation shaft and made a nest in my wig collection. Okay. Company news. The motel was sold to an anonymous buyer. And... Boy, they're going to get money chips to spend at a casino, some free drinks, and a free night at Slumberjack's Motel. Okay. Oh. Slumberjacks. Put down now your slumber weapons in. and submit to Deceased guest. Room inspection cleaners made a grim discovery of a deceased in a chair with a large blood splatter on the wall. Oops, I have to go take a look at that again. Voices under the ground floor. Nothing there. A fully dressed mannequin decked out in ski gear. Okay. Hmm. Poker incident. Okay. Impromptu. Uh, that guy's bugging me. All right. Let's take care of this guy. All right. Let's have a look around the rest of the motel. Okay, Mr. Handy. Nothing new here. Down into the basement area. Broken robots. A bit of a blood trail here behind this bookcase. Nope, looks like I have to go this way. Missing door. Well, we'll take care of it anyways, because sure shooting, no fun, no pun intended, it would just turn on me anyways. Hmm. Kind of a vault door. Rad roaches. Interesting. We have a robo brain factory. Maybe this was a repair. No, wait. There would be no. They wouldn't have the human brain stuff in here. Unless they were... Oh, the new owner. Yeah. The new owner. Might be experimenting with robo-brains. This looks like a external camera. Usually these TVs, they don't have anything on them. They're, they're blank TVs or it's please stand by. That's actually a view outside of the motel or something. It doesn't look interior. And that's a non-working elevator set out of order. And there's, looks like a getting ready to install a new brain or repair one. Let me make sure that that's, wait, there might, no, that's inaccessible. And we'll double check this at look board. Yeah, it says out of order. That's too bad. It would have been cool to go down, down, down there. Nothing. I don't think this is something that will 
you know, work at a later date. That brain thing on the table doesn't look very old. It looks very recent. And I'm going to try and see if I can fit in there and see if I can get in through here by crouching and getting in, but no, no way. More of the blood splatters or stains under that wall and maybe a bit over there. Okay. Definitely was on the trail leading down through here for sure. Well, at least the door is powered. Other than that, nothing. Let's take just this area here. Hmm. More mystery. Love it. Okay, let's take a look in the rest of the motel area. That looks interesting. Nothing is real. Who knows? It it again, it looks recent. Doesn't look like somebody did it like right after the war. Another mysterious piece of the puzzle. And let's not spend any time trying to disarm those bear traps. Let's just take a look here. We're spying on something across the way. Responder corpse. Interesting to see these backpacks too. Alright, we're not going back that way. Just go back the way we came. Check out this police station thing up here. Oh, crime scene. Okay. Microscope, police hat. Oh, this is the area they were describing downstairs about the head, the gunshot that was heard and the blood splatter against the wall. Okay. What else? Nothing to get into here. Rope doesn't make sense. And no head. Maybe they were harvesting the brain? No, because blow off the head then the brain isn't going to be salvageable for like a robo-brain robot. Who knows? Maybe they removed the head and then put a blood... I don't know. Good, good mystery here. Yourself. Looks like the guys are coming back. I think we're wrapping it up here at the Slumber Mill All Motel. Fair. Thanks so very much for watching. A lot of mystery here. Uh, thanks so very much for watching. We'll see you in the 12th video.